Hi everyone, welcome to the introduction to artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence or AI is the technology that can mimic human intelligence. In the era of big data and digitization, accounting professionals are also supposed to have a better understanding of AI technologies in business and their work. This lecture aims to familiarize you with the concepts of AI and the way it adds value to business accounting and auditing. In this lecture, we will first introduce AI's concepts and categories, and then discuss its properties, advantages, and disadvantages, and finally, introduce some examples of its applications. Artificial intelligence is not a new topic. Early in 1950s, Alan Turing proposed the Turing test, which is a test of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior distinguishable from that of a human. The test involves three participants, a machine, a human, and an interrogator. The interrogator will attempt to determine which is machine and which is human by asking them questions. The Turing test has been an influential um, concept and important concept in the AI domain. But what's the specific definition of AI? I often hear somebody talking about AI as if they refer to all the high technologies or including the basic um, statistical analysis. However, I think AI should be more specifically defined as the automation of activities related to human thinking, decision making, problem solving, and learning. Alternatively, AI can also refer to a broad discipline with the goal of creating intelligent machines. In the dictionary, AI is defined as the capability of a machine to imitate the intelligent human behavior. As we can see, all of the definitions stress the intelligence and it is artificial. That is to say, adding guided, human guided or rule based simple tools such as Excel should not be considered as artificial intelligence. One area in AI is computer vision. This domain actually imitates the human's intelligent behavior of seeing. Similarly, the speech recognition imitates human's hearing functionality, and voice interaction imitates human's speaking behavior. Here are two types of AI. The general AI refers to machines with full human cognitive abilities and can carry out different tasks on its own. Some fancy examples are there in the movies, such as the Samantha in the movie called Her, and the STEM, which is a chip that can control humans' behaviors in the film called R Upgrade. However, such fancy um, General AIs currently only um, hypothetical. More often, when we talk about AI, we refer to the narrow AI, which can only conduct specific tasks. The narrow AI can have several important domains. The major domain of the narrow AI is machine learning, which means we train the model, which can predict or detect data patterns. One, one uh, interesting application of machine learning is the recommender system. For example, when you do online shopping, you might find that the uh, website directly recommends some items to you, and most of them might be of your interest. Those items are selected using the recommender system, which learns a model from your historical purchasing or browsing records. Another application of machine learning is the automated trading, which uses machine learning to um, buy and sell the uh, stocks. Fraud detection is also realized using machine learning. 
Uh, for example, last month when I traveled to Miami and used my credit card there, I received a fraud-like al um, alarm. And that alarm is sent by the machine learning model after uh, it detects the uh, abnormal transaction because it's totally different from my historical records in New Jersey. The idea is similar to um, the risk assessment using machine learning. Another area of AI is NLP, which means natural language processing. Using NLP, we can extract some insights from the textual data. For example, we can analyze the sentiment of the social media post. We can also extract the topics from news articles. Some other applications of NLP include the chatbots, the translation, like the Google Translate, and speech recognition. AI can also include expert system, computer vision, and other categories. Um, here, the computer vision is very interesting uh, application, especially in the COVID period. We can conduct remote audit using the computer vision's um, OCR functionality um, and also uh, combined with drone and, and camera, we can um, check the physical assets or inventory. Here, I want to stress some important properties of AI. First, AI is data-driven because we train the model using the data from real world to develop and continuously update the model. The second is the algorithm, which uses the data to develop models. And finally, AI is not a one-off development, meaning that it continues to learn from new data and evolve. That is, that is to say uh, some simple tools like Excel is not AI because they cannot evolve with new data. It's intuitive that AI has many benefits. For example, they can assist us analyze large data set efficiently and fast. It can also automate many processes like checking the inventory or uh, reading the contracts or other documents. However, AI also has some challenges. The first is privacy concern. We may often find it's astonishing um, uh, it's astonishing how our private um, private information is used by the um, advertisement or vendors, especially uh, when we receive some recommendations. I once also received a scam on my computer in which the hacker told me some of my personal information. So here are some simple tricks to protect our privacy. We can uh, use some um, search engines that protect our privacy, like DuckDuckGo. We can also search something from time to time randomly. In this way, we can add noise to the AI algorithms um, to the train model training process, and the algorithm may just be confused by you. Okay, another challenge of AI is the ethics and data buyers. There was a heated debate in uh, previous several years about the hiring bots in a high-tech company. That debate mainly talks about how the uh, bot um, possess some um, selection bias because it was trained based on the historical hiring profiles. And that, uh, that database has a bias in nature towards the males compared with females. So garbage in, garbage out, the model built on that data also has a bias. So here, this example suggests that we need to always ensure the training data of the AI or machine learning should be unbiased. Another challenge is the complexity or black box issue of AI. That means the machine learning algorithms are 
also, um, often very technical and difficult for practitioners to understand, especially uh, for us without computer science background. However, uh, it's, a um, it's very um, glad, I'm glad to observe that in recent years, there are some efforts toward solving this challenge by using a technique called explainable AI. And also, um, they visualize the mechanism of the machine learning and try to open the black box for the audience. Till now, we have an overview of AI's concept, its properties, advantages, and disadvantages. Next, I want to introduce some applications in business, accounting, and auditing. In banking and finance, AI is widely used in fraud detection, as I gave you example before. And in retail, AI is used in online customer support via chatbots and also product recommendations. It can also be used in security to monitor behavior, detect anomalies, and respond to threat and issues. In auditing and accounting, we find traditional accounting and auditing is inefficient and ineffective to keep up with the change and dynamic marketplace. In this situation, we can use AI to assist auditors and accountants in accounting estimate, for example, the fair value estimate and allowance for bad date. We can also use AI for auditors to do a better sampling instead of random sample. AI can also be used to automate some tedious and repetitive manual processes like reviewing the contracts, receipts, and invoices, or uh, we can automate the examining of inter inventories using drawings and the computer vision. According to a survey, the artificial intelligence in accounting market size is predicted to increase at a positive cumulative annual growth rate of 30%. That, that is to say the market for AI in accounting is quite big. For auditors, the AI can add to some um, insightful audit evidence. For example, if we use AI to analyze text or documents like contracts, conference call transcripts, social media posts, news articles, etc., we can get some um, additional variables like the sentiment score or keywords and topics of the documents, which can add some insights to the auditors as they analyze the entity. It's quite similar for AI to adopt to other type of data, including the audio, video, and image data. We can also give some example or use cases of AI in different audit stage. In the audit planning stage, we can use AI to optimize the resource. For example, we can analyze the staff's profile and bring together the best team for certain engagement. It's also interesting to apply AI to analyze some uh, social media or websites, emails, statements to identify potential risks relevant to the client and evaluate whether to accept this client or not. The NLP and machine learning technologies can be used to analyze the regulatory notices, industry reports, news, etc., to detect possible risks. It's also applicable to um, apply AI to documents or emails, invoices, images to support the understanding of the entity's information systems and controls. For the substantive procedures, we can use AI to identify outliers or anomalous data, 
we can use AI to predict um, the accounting numbers or accounting estimates. And in the conclusion procedure, AI can support auditors' work on financial statement disclosures by enabling easier identification of missing disclosure requirements and non-compliance. This table is extracted from an article published in a top journal. In this table, they showed the questionnaire from the big four firms who mentioned their use of AI for different purposes. This table gives us an intuitive of how the AI are used in different audit tasks in the profession. And in this table, I summarized some current um, AI applications or AI tools used by the big four. Some links are attached to uh, some of the tools and you're um, encouraged to explore them after class. Thanks for listening.